what the federal government should do for the surf and Nigerians after the end of the open grazing deadline. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. The news in full. It is not new that the Fulani headsmen will be vacating the sub finally on the 21st of September 2021. Their days remain few and numbered. Some headsmen have already vacated. The southern states are rounding off with the enactment of the anti-open grazing bill. What remains now is the deadline, which is less, which is less than 22 days for the enforcement of the bill to commence. Although there are pockets of resistance from the headsmen, which is normal because it is not always easy for the captor to let his victims go without battle. The federal government has barred to pressure and released six billion for each state that will accept the ranching proposal. The certain states have declined to accept the offer totally, showing that they are not ready to do any business or work with the killer headsmen, who they know can't be trusted. The headsmen have, on different occasions, entered into security agreements with some states to hand killings, but later turned a blind eye to the document or gentleman agreement and continued their onslaught against the host state or community. The federal government is in eager to support the Fulanese headsmen to continue their business in the south ready to give all the states in the south six billion for ranching but have not said anything about the post headsman activities in the south it is a natural phenomenon that in any war ravaged city or natural disaster there is always time to rebuild the properties that have been destroyed and in some cases compensation is paid to the affected areas this has made it important that the federal government should release funds to all the states in the south and parts of the north where the havoc of the headsmen was witnessed for rebuilding and refunding. Many farmers are out of business, many families have no homes, and many have lost their loved ones to the menace of the deadly headsmen groups. It is therefore most important that such people can't just be left without touching their lives financially. The federal government should release funds to states or open an online support program tagged Headsmen Support Funds so that Nigerians can register and get a reasonable amount of grants to rebuild their homes and go back to farming and also reduce poverty in families that lost their breadwinners in the headsmen activities. The Korokoro 19 loan and grants are typical examples of such program that federal government should copy from. On many occasions, the people who were victims of terrorism are left without help in Nigeria, while those who victimized them are forgiven, reintegrated into society, and also empowered by the federal government. If the federal government should employ this compensation measure to people because of the headsmen activities, it would go a long way in reducing poverty and hunger and would also bring quick healing to the minds of Nigerians who may have marked the headsmen as their lifetime enemies. What do you think about this? Bring in your other suggestions you think might help Nigerians to recover from the post headsmen activities. I beg, make on follow me digest this matter. Can you imagine 6 billion naira because of cattle? Why the citizens are dying of hunger? Is it a must to eat car meat? But one thing that baffles me is I never hear the federal government condemning the everyday killings by headsmen all over the country why please like share and comment on this work follow for more updates thanks for watching bye bye